One of the best features about PowerShell is that we can use it to remote into another computer and make changes to that computer or many different computers. But we have to set up the WinRM service to start up automatically. Otherwise, we won't be able to do this. So there's a couple of different ways to do that. One is if you're actually able to get on the computer, you can go to services.msc and you can run that from the run command or you can also get there by going to the server manager. So if we go to the start button and click on server manager, then you can get to services from the tools menu. And from here we can click on tools and then click on services. So either one of those will get us there. But what we need to do is we need to get down to the WinRM service or Windows Remote Service. So let's go down, here it is, Windows Remote Management. And we want to make sure that it's set to automatic. So if it's not, just go ahead and hit the drop down, choose automatic from the list, and then make sure that it is in the running state. It's also referred to as the WinRM service, as you see here. Once that's started, now we can type one additional command, and that is enable dash ps remoting dash force. And now this server can be remoted into. So in order to remote into this particular server from another one, we need to type the enter dash ps session command. And we'll cover that in our next video. So stay tuned.